Welcome back, everybody. Our next guest, well, he's the latest announced candidate for President of the United States, and he'll be attempting to secure the Republican nomination next year. Dr. Roland Roberts has an America 2.0, one nation under God plan. And he talks with us, uh, with us about it right now. Dr. Roberts, great to have you on the show. Thank you. It's great to be with you, John. This is an exciting moment for anyone that puts their hat into the ring. You've got some big ideas. A lot of people uh, talking about the big ideas in your sort of your platform. Tell us a few of the things that you've got there, starting with the tiered flat tax system. Certainly. Well, first of all, a lot of the Republican platform has not resonated with the popular vote, as you know, for the last 20, 30 years. Right. And uh, so I'm not running on the same issues that everyone else has with kind of retreading a lot of the same conversations. I'm running on a vision for 22nd century America. When my son is born July 20, uh, July 2nd of this year, my first son, uh, God willing, he'll live to see the 22nd century. He would be 77 years old in 2100. And I want an America for our kids and our grandchildren. This is not some far off thing. The 22nd century is upon us. So the uh, tiered flat tax system that I'm proposing is not something new. It's been around for years, but I think there's a right way to do it. It helps save 75 million Americans will no longer pay federal income tax. Uh, no social security ta uh, checks would be taxed. Uh, and with a flat corporate tax, it actually allows for much of our debt to start being paid off. And of course, the goal is not just to balance the budget and, if, and, and reduce the deficit, but to eliminate our national debt. Yeah. Well, I, I, I love that. And what, it's the Ides of March, which means that we're officially a month out from tax day. So I think a lot of people are really uh, excited to hear something like that. Um, Dr. Roberts there, I, you know, the, the Republican Party has kind of moved in a new direction. It's, it's an America first MAGA agenda from President Trump's tenure uh, from 2016 to 2020. There are a few uniform ideas, obviously border security, fiscal responsibility, actual fiscal responsibility, not just throwing it up on the marquee and hoping that it sticks. What differentiates you from the other folks who have declared? Yeah, yeah look, they're all in the same ilk. They're all of the same uh, uh, ideology and come from the same schools and cut from the same cloth. They're all former politicians. They all uh, try to attack Democrats. They try to attack half of the people in America because half, you know, is Democrat. And we, it, we've been so evenly split uh, in America that literally creating hate and fear about your next door neighbor, I don't think is a winning strategy. Uh, I, I will be a president for all. I believe that we need a, a God back in America. I believe that uh, in order for our fiscal policies and our health care policies, our education policies, look, we're getting uh, killed on our education when China is teaching engineering to sixth graders and we've got people graduating with a bachelor's degree that can hardly read and write because we keep lowering the standards because of our uh, the way the educational system is set up uh, with with women's pay and inequality. I mean, I'm come from the entrepreneurial world. There's just a world of difference between how we fundamentally think uh, from, from the way I think to the rest of the field. And we see this over and over, whether it's Trump, whether it's DeSantis, they're all reactionary, defensive candidates, and we need visionary leadership. I recently talked to business people, and I said, why in the world we hold these standards for CEOs? They must have uh, put themselves second and last and, and, and edify other people and work with everyone and have uh, lose the ego. And uh, But why do we put character on a back shelf uh, when it's when it comes to the president of the United States. And so I think that is one of the real differences. I have four, an extensive foreign policy and international affairs and diplomacy experience. Uh, and I think the next president of the United States must be well versed in international diplomacy, given that that is the nature of the world we live in today. <clears throat> Sir, I love when we find something interesting in, in the candidate's background that all Americans might know about. You served in South Sudan during a very important time uh, in the transition to a permanent government after many years of destabilized war there. Tell us a little bit about that and how that is going to affect your, your view of, of what you're going to do as president. Well, look, South Sudan is ranked 180 out of 180 out of the corruption scale. They are considered more corrupt than the Ayatollah of Iran and Kim Jong-un of North Korea. And I've been on the ground there. We've been in the motorcades. I've met personally and privately on multiple occasions with the president. We gave birth, the United States gave birth to South Sudan, the world's newest nation. 
They've gone through two civil wars and they're in a lull right now, uh, you know, and hopefully we can avoid a third. Uh, in, in Sudan, we actually had a coup. They were under the same transitional constitution uh, that we helped uh, institute. And I can tell you that w from my time in Ghana and Kenya and Malawi and Nairobi and, and Rwanda and Uganda and, and, and the Sudans, I can tell you, and in China, when I addressed China's you know, communist uh, parliament and government uh, officials there, I can tell you that when you're dealing with, with nations that are corrupt, and it's one of the reasons I'm running for president, because I would come back after dealing with some of these uh, corrupt regimes and realize that much of what we were doing was actually worse, but we were virtue signaling to some of the most corrupt countries, and actually we were better at it than they are. And so I believe, though, that real leadership, authentic leadership, we don't have to be the bullies to lead the world. Uh, we will do it, it where if someone even lifted a finger against us, then they know that they would be uh, uh, they should be very afraid. And uh, that's th then you don't have to show your might in Ukraine to the extent that we are in bankrupt America and create phony markets instead of focusing on free enterprise and capitalism the way it is intended. Uh, in, in, instead of the convoluted mix and blend that we have today. Dr. Roberts, we've just got about a minute left. I wanted to ask you quickly before we go. I think that Americans are becoming increasingly uh, more aware of, of China's shenanigans, for lack of better terms, especially with respect to inter, uh, intellectual property theft. This has been on your radar for a long time, though. Quickly tell us about that. Yes, I addressed the international property uh, theft uh, directly to Chinese officials in 2017 uh, because they had ripped off the hoverboard uh, so extensively. There were over 900 knockoff manufacturers knocking off our hoverboard. And uh, because of that, uh, I, I addressed them. And of course, I challenged them and said, why do you have to copy when you are, are born as a human being to create? Uh, but they, their culture, and this is where the United States consistently misjudges China, their culture edifies and as a character trait and a virtue uh, dishonesty uh, in misleading and deception in business and in really in life. So if they can deceive their opponent, the Sun Tzu's art of war, if they can deceive their opponent in Chinese culture, that's the equivalent to being on, an honest person in America. Yeah, how about that? Dr. Roberts, we're, uh, we're going to be watching your campaign very closely. Very excited to have you in the race. Good luck and we'll, we'll have you back on real soon. Thank you much. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, time to wrap up. A lot of busy news today, a lot of big thoughts. We'll have that right after this commercial message.